So I have prepared my lunch in advance in my little mom bento box and I have this cute bamboo fork. I have an apple for a snack and of course some chocolate. Then for breakfast, I just have these overnight oats with coconut vanilla yogurt, frozen blueberries, oats, and of course, coffee. Another thing that I like to do is set my outfit out in advance. I have these two shoes I can't decide between. I have this nice little dress that I got from Anthropology a few years ago that has stayed nice and of course some little nude tights because it's kind of warm but not too warm. Here's my outfit. I have a jean jacket on because it can get kind of chilly in the mornings as well as a scarf. I know it looks kind of silly together but I wanted to stay warm. I also prepared my backpack the night before along with my water bottle and I really think preparing an advance the night before helps me not be late in the mornings. And here is just a little snippet of my walk to work. Earlier in the semester, it was a little dark outside when I left around 7.30 a.m., but I really think the morning sky is really beautiful, so that's something good about waking up early. All right, so I'm just walking to work. The sun is starting to come out. It's still a little cloudy though. It's all right, I'm actually feeling a little warm in my scarf right now, <laughs> but I think that's gonna mean it's gonna be a warm day today. Anyway, um, there's not really much people walking on the street this early. Mostly just lots of cars. All right, um, oh yeah, and it takes me about 25 minutes to walk to work. I walk to work three times a week because that's when I have classes. I teach three days a week, but I lesson plan from home on Monday and Friday, or it usually ends up being, um, sorry, not Monday and Friday, Wednesday and Friday, but it usually ends up being Wednesday and Sunday. All right, I'll check back in when I get to work. All right, I just made it to work. I'm a little out of breath because I walked up the stairs. Always take the stairs if you can. Um, I'm gonna drop off my lunchbox, put it in the fridge. Um, yeah, then head to class. All right, I'll check in with you after class. All right, hello again. It is now 9.30 a.m. I just taught my 8 a.m. geography class for first years. I have two more classes today. I have geography for the second year students, and then I have an oral class for the first year students who are studying English. And right now I have a, a long break. My next class isn't until one, but instead of going back home for that long break, I'm just gonna stay at work in the office and get some lesson planning done, check my emails, take care of other stuff like that, eat lunch later, and I'm just gonna just chilling here. Yeah, so I'll tell you a little bit about my classes. My first class, we were talking about um, different regions of the US. Today, we talked about the South, um, the Southeast a little more specifically. So I showed them um, videos about Southern slang, just a video about the region, food. We talked about food, then we practiced the present uh, simple and present progressive, so they could talk about their own um, customs with food and their own habits. Then we talked a little bit about the Confederate monument controversy and the Charlottesville protests that happened two years ago, just so they could have a little bit of more critical thinking because sometimes with the non-specialist students, their level of English is a little bit lower, so we have to do some more simple things, especially since the levels are quite mixed. So I try to do some um, simple things and then move towards some more critical thinking, discussion topics for those students who do um, want to speak a little bit more. Then in my geography class, I think we're gonna do a lesson about refugees. I just found a great website. Um, Brown University actually has a, a whole set of lessons called the Choices Program. Some of them you do have to pay for, but they do have lots of great free lessons, which um, is what I have been using. 
um, pro tip as a teacher, do not reinvent the wheel. Try to use as many resources as you can. Um, share with other teachers. I sometimes take a long time lesson planning because as a lectrice, I do have free range of basically what I teach. Um, I do have some suggestions from teachers, but otherwise I get to plan what kind of activities, what kind of topics I want to talk about. So I do spend quite a bit of time researching different topics and finding different activities that I think would be interesting for students. So afterwards in my oral class for my first year English students, we're going to talk about public speaking, public speaking tips, because it's hard to speak in another language and it's also just hard to public speak in general. So we're going to talk about a little bit about that, maybe do some linguistic exercises. And we're going to talk about, um, oh yeah, the Iowa caucuses, because that's a current event that currently happened in the U.S. and I thought we could do a fun little activity where we could do a caucus like simulation in class, but instead of political candidates, we could do like foods. That way it's not super like controversial. Also there, they probably don't know too much about the US candidates anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll maybe check in with you later around lunch, tell you how my planning is going and yeah, I'll tell you how my other classes went. See you. Hello again, it's now lunchtime and I Guess I'll show you what I'm having. All right, so here we go. I've got some salad left over from my last night's dinner. It's got greens from the farmer's market, roasted chickpeas that I just baked in the oven with some olive oil, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, chili powder, and garlic powder. And I just left them in there till they're nice and crispy. I got a nice little Dijon honey mustard vinaigrette thing going on, and then delicious baked sweet potato. And if I want some dessert, I've got a little piece of chocolate here, and of course, water. Bon appetit to me! <laughs> day outside even though it's really warm for February um, but I was still happy to walk home in nice weather anyway I just got back home and I had a package that arrived from ride store which is like an, I think it's like a Swedish snow and ski company anyway I've been trying to get a ski jacket for the last like week or so but ordering things online isn't always the best because you know it's not good for the planet and um, you might not get your right size, which I've learned. So uh, next time I will try to buy it in person. Um, but I was just too tempted by the prices and cute colors of these. Uh, so let's see um, if this coat fits me any better. Uh, it's I originally got like a pink coat, but then I saw this green one was back in stock in a smaller size, so I wanted to try that on. So here's what it looks like. I'm gonna try it on. Um, and I still have the other one, so I'll return the one that is either too big or too small. All right, let's see how it goes. Of course, I'll try all this stuff on with, with ski clothes underneath two but just an initial try on let's see if i can zip it up i like this color yeah. ah, it's a struggle all right zipping it up all right i'm gonna come over here maybe i'll, I'll walk to the mirror and show you there Alright, so here's the coat. It looks kind of weird with my dress on, but I think 
I think the size is a little better. Um, I'm kind of short, so I needed a, a smaller size, but I'm gonna try this on with my ski clothes to see if it fits, of course, and then I'll figure out which coat is better. All right. All right, so back at home, I took off my makeup and changed because I am gonna go to the gym and do a little bit of strength training. I've been strength training since November, just get, starting starting this journey, getting into it. And, but I might just do like a light little cardio warm up, not nothing too bad because I um, just walked home and then. I'll get into some lifting. I have been strength training maybe like two or three times a week, maybe closer to twice a week. So I wanna kind of kind of see how it goes if I try to commit to doing it three times a week. gym and as you can see I showered I'm just plopping my hair because I have wavy hair and I want the waves to be a little prettier so I'm just plopping them up in this microfiber towel anyway tonight I'm gonna cook I'm gonna try out a recipe from the no meat athlete cookbook some spaghetti with white bean meatballs I mean no meat meatballs of course um, because I'm vegetarian and yeah, I like to cook a lot of vegan recipes as well, just because I feel like eating a whole foods plant-based diet feels the best for me, but I do occasionally eat some cheese and eggs because it's hard to avoid in France, but you know, it's all about balance. Anyway, I'm going to cook dinner. I'll show you all what it looks like after and then maybe do a little bit of lesson planning and chilling before I go to sleep. Already. Alright, so I'm done with dinner and I just FaceTimed my mom for a little bit and now I'm ready to start going to bed. I might finish up Lesson planning for tomorrow. I just have like a small thing to do. And yeah, here's my hair after plopping. You know, it's kind of a weird texture. I co washed today, which is just washing your hair with conditioner. And it's not too bad. It's still a little funky. I'm experimenting with it. Anyway. I thought I'd just say good night. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. A tuta? No. Okay, bye. <laughs>